Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature and Flowers Photoshop lesson. Today I'm going to show you some more advanced ways of doing some editing in Photoshop using layer masks and doing a color splash to show some of the techniques. You can see here I've got a layer mask, which is the thing that looks like this here. I've got my black and white background and I've got my colorful flower. I'll talk you through how to do this so you can follow the instructions really simply. Okay, so first of all, we need our base photo. We're going to duplicate it by right clicking on it and clicking duplicate layer. We should then have two layers. Okay, the background is the one that we are going to make black and white. So we are going to go to the image menu, adjustments and click on the black and white setting. Click OK and we will now see when I close the eye on the background copy layer that we have it in black and white. I'm going to tell you how to name a layer as well. So we're going to call it flower on that layer and obviously the background is now the background. So you can see straight away which layer we need to work on. Now, Photoshop has got some advanced features that I haven't shown you before, and it works very similar to the Magic Cut facility in Photo Piece. If we go to Select, and we go to Subject, the computer in Photoshop will use its AI brain, and it will determine what is the subject of the picture, and it will then give a flashing line around it, as you can see here. So it's automatically selected the area for us to save us having to do it ourselves now this is fantastic because all we need to do now to make the color splash effect because we've already got the background in black and white is click on a layer mask so once we click on the layer mask it will mask every other part of the picture you can see in the little thumbnail here that isn't the flower now if i want to edit the flower which i might want to do some enhancements to it in a minute I need to make sure I click over on the layer menu where it says flower, click onto the picture of the flower, not on the layer mask, I've got a white line around it. Then I can go to image, adjustments, and I can look at things like my saturation and color. So I can slightly saturate it to make it brighter, make it darker or lighter here. And I can also go to my image, Brighten some contrast, give it a bit more contrast to make it really pop. Play around with the brightness of it here. And you can see just some small adjustments makes the image absolutely pop. So if I compare it to the original, it's quite faded out here. So now I've enhanced it onto my color splash. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed using the new technique. So remember, we're using the layer mask. We're making sure we click on the layer with the picture of the image to do the adjustments to and we're naming our layers okay have fun experimenting with that and let me see what you get on with add some comments in the comment section below and you can add some examples of your work if you like okay thank you for watching well see if you're enjoying quentin cup to nature of flowers be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give it a thumbs up okay thank you for watching and goodbye